So today I want to talk about the shocking claims made by Diana Hart in her biography, autobiography, I assume, Under the Mat. Now, um, it is what you may consider a banned book. In fact, I'm just reading the information here now. Legal action was pursued by Martha Hart, uh, Owen's widow. And Martha claims that Diana made inaccurate and responsible statements about her and her family. Now, I find it very interesting because I have been in fact reading the book and I am a follower of uh, the Hart legacy as a uh, insider fan so uh, today I'm just going to talk about some of the passages that have been presented to me to us today and uh, we're gonna we're gonna answer some questions so I am going to start by clarifying. Now, the main difference between accused and alleged when it comes to charges and claims are very different. You know, alleged is more in relation to somebody saying how they feel, or somebody saying what they think. Well, um, accused means, you know, beyond a reasonable doubt that there was a crime that took place. Now, um, I've read this book. I have the e-version here now. And I am going to read some very shocking passages. And um, I may shorten it a bit because the book is very long and for the interest of length I just want to get the most hard-hitting passages out to uh, the inside fans. So we're going to start chapter 25 shockingly entitled drugging and rape. So this this is Diana speaking now. Florida is where Davy started drugging and raping me. Davy told a Florida wrestler named Duke the Dumpster Drossay figured out how to make GHB liquid. Now for all intents and purposes these are not me messing up the words. This is how the book is written. There's a lot of very odd language throughout. The recipe is easy to obtain. But in those days, it was just coming into vogue. Gamma hydroburetate is sometimes used by bodybuilders instead of steroids. It's reputed to stimulate human growth hormone, and it is most noticeable effect is euphoria. But when mixed with alcohol, it renders people unconscious. It's extremely dangerous and can lead to a coma or death. Duke introduced it to Davy, who told him it was really good for getting sleep. And the beauty of it was it increased your metabolic rate so it burned fat while you slept. Davy began giving it to me without my knowledge. Since then, there have been many instances reported in the press about perverts using the drug to rape their dates. At the time, I all knew that unusual things were happening. I developed really bad hemorrhoids and woke up with my posterior burning and sore. It felt something had happened during the night that I couldn't understand. I thought I was losing my mind. Part of being married is being able to trust the person you're married to. I shared the symptoms with my sister Ellie without batting an eye she sighed. Yeah, Jim used to do the same to me. Um, making mention of Jim the Animal Nine heart there. What? I swallowed. What do you mean? Will you give me GHB before bed? He told me it was really great for losing weight, and it was, but it knocked me out, and he would take advantage while I slept. That way, he didn't have to please me 
and he could do whatever he wanted without resistance. Now that is just absolutely sick. Sick. That uh, these allegations are not at least considered. I mean, as a uh, as a I'm trying to look for the right word as a someone who has very high interest in a lot of family law situations you know I I just don't buy it that um, some of these instances may not have uh, taken place in the heart home we really long Davey was insatiable sometimes he'd want sex ten times a day or three or four times in a row I took it as a compliment but he was a big guy and fairly aggressive and not willing to do things that pleased me. She goes on to make comments that oral sex was rare and unfulfilling because he rushed through it. He also always wanted anal sex. Sorry, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to kind of keep my voice down in case my neighbors hear me describing some of this, which Diana found too painful to endure. Which I mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine a WWF superstar essentially taking something to that level. I mean, it's absolutely sick. Finally, I started to figure things out. To substantiate my theory, I decided not to drink the orange juice one night. Instead, I subtupiously poured it down the sink. Now, now, this is really disturbing. Davy watched me like a hawk all night with a rather puzzled look as to say, Hmm, what, what's happening here? After a couple hours, he brought me another glass of orange juice. I pretended to be grateful. But when he turned his back, I poured it down the toilet. I had to be careful because he would slip it into my coffee. Pretty well anything I was drinking. He was at the point where the only way he wanted to be with me was if I was unconscious. I'm, just, I, I'm almost sick at some of the... I guess in a really weird way, I felt flattered that he desired me. I rationalized that he still loved me. Now that is absolutely sick. And, um, you know, I, I think the company should really uh, look into these potential allegations as, as they are just absolutely sick. Essentially, Jim the Animal Nineheart. Or uh, it's not the animal, the, the, the Anvil. Neidhart and um, Davy the British Bulldog Smith, if uh, I get that information correct, are both spousal rapists. It's all there, black and white. You know, there's a, there's just a lot in here. You know, I'd love to do a full breakdown of it but uh for today i think we're just going to leave it at that and um possibly we'll do another one in the future thank you for listening